In Ireland, not long ago, there was a man. Most wouldn't say he was remarkable, but he was caring, and that can be a rare thing. His name was Oshie. The thing you have to understand about Ireland then was that we didn't have much. There was a depression, so every belt was tight. But we, in general, were there for each other, and that's what's important. More so than most, Oshin liked to help others. He was part of a group called the Fianna, and they made this their aim. He worked as the right hand of the Fianna's chief, Fionn. Oshin was happy in his job, and he worked hard. Then, he met Niamh. She came from over the sea, and she was to work with the Fianna for a time. This was the beginning. Over the weeks that passed, Oshin and Niamh became close. Before long, they felt love for each other. As they had known from the beginning, the time came for Niamh to return home. She asked Oshin to join her. At the end of the day, there was never any choice. Not really. As the years passed, Oshin lived happily with Niamh. He felt like he had everything he had ever wanted. Unfortunately, that's not always how life goes. Oshin thought about what he had left behind in Ireland. It was time to go home. When Oshin arrived, after so many years away, he found that his home was a very different place. As he walked the streets, Oshin saw changed people. They had more and less than ever before. Then he came to a place he recognized. Oshin discovered that years before, the Fianna had disbanded.
all those he had known had moved on. He had never known. He needed to walk, to clear his head and gather his thoughts. He saw someone in need and, being Oshin, went to help. <laughs> Lying there, Oshin thought back in his life the people who mattered to him, the things that made him happy. He made a choice. In life, it's never too late to try and make a difference.